you. JP, my neck, my back. So, my brother, rip. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another vlog. With me, your girl, Tasha. Today, we're going to be doing a video on Natasia. Do y'all like Tay? Or do y'all like Natasia? Let me know because I know y'all used to call me Tay, but y'all know I done changed all my social media platforms to so it's Natasia. Anyways, if you are new here, make sure you go ahead and stop right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I want to come up with a name to call y'all like, but I want it to be something that's cute and chic. I don't want it to be like, I don't know. Y'all let me know like what y'all feel is T. Pop right into this vlog. Today, we are getting filler. Make some noise, y'all. Oh my gosh. If you don't know, baby, I love you some filler. I want to be a filler. Like, I love filler. I only had filler twice. Um, Previously, I got my cheeks and my chin. And I got my lips done twice. So today, I'm interested in getting um facial balancing. And I'm going to be taking y'all with me. So y'all going to be seeing all of this and hearing all the information as well as I do. But let's get on out of here because my appointment is at 12.30. And then we're going to get our lashes done. Again, yes. And y'all know last time I got a smaller lens. Baby, I'm going back to what I, I normally get. I feel like they make me look more exotic. More like, mm, like, eh, like, you know. So, I tried it. It was cute. But I got to go back to the taste set. The 16th, the 18th. Spikes. Y'all know what's going on. D-curl. I tell y'all all the time. I put y'all on game. So, um, and then we have a business meeting because your girl is looking for a manager for her content creating because I'm stepping into a new era for the new year. I ain't playing with nobody. I ain't playing with my own potential. Baby, we got two months less, little, little, less, left in this year. And I'm not about to let a coin pass me. I'm going after my destiny and after my greatness. Now let's go to our appointment. So we are in the car. Please don't mind my nails. We going to the nail salon today too because I got to get my nails fixed. Two of them broke. But yeah, I'm just all over the place right now. Anyways, so we are on our way to my filler appointment. As I was telling y'all, I have got filler before. I got filler twice. Well, in total, it'll be four times because the first time I went, I got my I got my lips done just by myself. I got my lips done, and then the second time I went, I got my chin and my cheeks. Or did I get all of it? No, I got my chin and my cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my chin and my cheeks. I don't think I got my lips. The second time I went, I went to Houston, um, and I got my chin, my cheeks, and my lips. And yeah, so. It's been a little minute though. Like I think I went last year around this time. I always go around the same time actually. But I really didn't plan on getting more filler if I'm going to be honest because let's talk about it. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's put it on the floor. The girls be overdoing it with the filler. I'm sorry, but they do. And I don't want to be one of them girls. So that's why I was like, I don't know. If I'm gonna get any more, I had said the last time that I went, I wasn't getting no more, like I was done. But it's been a year, I could get a little touch up or whatever the case may be. But baby, I just don't, they just be looking like hot air balloons. Like, I don't know, they just be looking filled up, and I don't want that look. I don't want to look filled up. Like, I want to look snatched, but I don't want to look filled up. So, the reason why, me personally, I like chin and cheek filler, um. Uh, I really my lips is the favorite thing that I probably would have got I mean that I got like my lips are my favorite feature They just so see they so luscious and so full the reason why I ever even got chin or cheek filler is because if you know Or have always been following me. I naturally have a very round face like my face is very chubby. It's very you know Whatever baby face, so I don't have much structure like in my face like the I won't say the normal person because like I have a normal face structure but it's just like y'all get what I'm saying like I just don't have that much structure like when it comes to my face so when I get filler it does that for me my chin naturally was a little bit more like boxy instead of like this little point that I have now which I love I look like a bald chicken oh my gosh but anyways yeah so that is why I get that and I love it 
and y'all about to see i'm gonna show y'all the difference y'all let me tell y'all for one i changed my outfit <laughs> because i didn't like what i had on at first so i changed i changed in the five guys bathroom i did so i just went and got my nails fixed because i told y'all i needed to go get them fixed but guess what i did for one well it wasn't really my fault i missed my filler appointment and we had to push it back to 245 and i'm getting there at 303 y'all know i'm so bad with timing but it was not my fault though it legit wasn't my fault because they just moved offices two weeks ago so i had the old office address and that's where i went at and it was 30 minutes apart and she had another appointment da -da -da -da. so now i am headed there but it's far as hell now from where I'm at. Because now I'm at Buckhead. I just had to go to the store to go pick up um, the lashes for a day just to do my lashes later on tonight. So, it's 35 minutes away from here. If y'all don't know, I do not like traffic. I don't do well with traffic. I be having like an emotional breakdown. But it's okay because... It might not even be more so traffic. It might just be that the fact that it's a distance. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm on my way there. And I'm going to talk to y'all when we actually get there for real. Across my personal page, TikTok, like I've mm -hmm. seen you on there. Yeah, you they be doing way better than Instagram. So weird. Instagram now. is so weird. Like on my work page, I've had a couple of videos that will go viral. I'll post it on TikTok. Re I mean Instagram Reels, and it won't hit the same. Maybe yeah. like 500 views. I'm like, yeah. okay, whatever. Okay, so have you ever had any Botox fillers in general yeah. before? Yes, I have. Uh, what do I got? My chin and cheeks. Okay. And my lips. Okay, your lips look really good. Thank you. How long ago? Probably like a year. Okay. Almost. So if you did anything, if we do something today, which we will, what would you want to address today if you have any areas of concern? Because you have a very pretty face. Thank you. I like the um facial balancing. Mm -hmm. I like that. Just it not looking like too overpowering. Right. Because I don't like when people be looking like they got filler. <laughs> I don't like that. And the thing with facial balancing, it's best to do everything at once. It's just some people right. don't because price purposes, which right. I completely yeah. get. But the reason why things look unnatural is because people only spot treat. So mm. they'll just only address the lips or only do the chin and the jawline right. and throw yeah. out the other proportions. And like I... I was only I was nervous a little bit about my lips only because I a lot of people are getting they feel like removed now. But I guess that's because they overdo it. It's overfilled, it's yeah. migrated. I only got mine done twice though. So mm -hmm. I guess you'll be able to tell like yeah. if I'm not touching your lips. Okay. I cool. think they're perfect and okay. I think they have nice volume. Okay. If anything, just look I was trying to look at your photos too because I was okay. like this girl like <laughs> She's very symmetric. If anything, what we can do is make your jawline pop out a little bit more. Okay. Elongate your chin just a little bit. You don't really need that much definition there because okay. it's there, but just a little. Yeah. I'm not going to. Because naturally, naturally, my chin was a little bit more boxy. It was uh -huh. like squarish until I got fuller. So, yeah, that's the only thing I got my chin, my cheeks, and my lips. Where'd you have. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to with your last filler. Whoever did it. Did um, in now. Houston, okay. Vanessa Injects. Yes, I follow yeah. her. Mm -hmm. She, she, she really did it. She's really good. Yeah, she's real good. That's the last time I got it though. What about do you grind or clench your teeth at night? Or like when you're stressed, so. you don't think so? Mm -hmm. Let me put some gloves on. I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking you this. Okay. Because there's something called facial slimming that we can do with Botox. Okay. And what you do is you just inject it into your masseter muscle, which is this right here. I think she I don't know if she did that. Well, I know she did something. Like back, I don't know what she did. I don't know. It was it was for promo too, so I didn't okay. really know. I didn't really know what she did, but I remember that word though. That well, she I'm just gonna said. explain everything okay. that I do to you, so okay. you are able to tell um, your viewers. Okay. But what I want you to do is clench down on your teeth. Yes, I knew it. You do have a very strong masseter muscle. You may mm -hmm. not clench or grind your teeth, but probably when you talk, you mm -hmm. may be animated, or when you do chew, you just have a very strong chew. I Probably. have very strong masters too. I have to put Probably. Botox in them. But what it does is what you can't use this muscle anymore when the Botox comes in, mm -hmm. when it kicks in in the next two weeks. And because of that, it becomes hypotrophic, meaning it's going to slim down. So naturally, it's going to make your facial features look slimmer too. I love that. Yes. Because my face so fat, like naturally, it's so chubby. So it's that's really what not made chubby, me start. It's just because this muscle here is a little bit wide. Yeah, that's what made me start getting filler anyway to get like a little bit more structure mm -hmm. to my little baby face. 
So yes, so we'll do some macerative Botox here. It usually takes about three to four weeks for you to really notice the effect. Okay. Two weeks for you to notice like, ooh, my teeth don't feel as tense. Okay. We'll do the jawline filler here today. Pop out your chin just a little bit. All okay. this is gonna take about 30 minutes, if that. Okay. I will numb you topically, so okay. it won't be as painful, but of course I'm sticking needles in your face, right. so keep that in mind. Okay. And then as far as downtime, just make sure you try to sleep on your back. Avoid sleeping on your side because you're going to compress anything that we do today. Right. Okay. With the Botox, don't we'll get a facial for the next two weeks. I don't know if you had that planned. Mm -mm. Okay. No facial for the next two weeks. Don't lay flat for the next three to four hours. And don't massage your face for the next three to four hours. Okay. Questions? Concerns? I'm getting my lashes done. So that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. fine. So I'm just going to do some before and after. And thank okay. you for coming today. So of course. Trying to get here, I was just, I was like, oh my gosh! When I realized I was at the wrong place, I was like, did I send her the wrong address? And I scrolled. Back I think up. it's it wasn't. I had went to the message that get sent to my phone. Oh, I just put in the name. Y'all okay. would happen to have any water, do you? Yeah, I have a bottle of water. Can I get some water? Yeah, I'm nervous. Nice facial features, so Thank you. we're just going to assimilate them. Well, the girls that do for the girls to get it because the I girls that do, much yeah, like we ain't have to do it's not you. The first time I got my lips done, I looked a mess but the other times that well the second time it didn't look that bad mm -hmm. my face just be looking real freshly sculpted yes when i get filler yes especially the type of filler we're going to use in the back of your jawline is called radius i don't mm -hmm. know if you used that before or if mm -hmm. she used that before on you but it's a biostimulator so it's calcium based it's not hyaluronic acid okay the good thing with putting that in the jawline is that it mimics the bone more and it lasts up to two years versus the eight to eight months to a year okay cool. yeah. so you get more longevity out of it and then you initial the front there was a signature oh, part on the oh, back okay. To me, filler really don't hurt that much. It's just afterwards, it just felt a little tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and your jaw will feel like that. It'll feel sore. Mm -hmm. So this is down to the bone to mimic the jawline a little bit more. But it shouldn't be like too painful. Yeah. I take, I'm, I'm kind of good with pain, so it don't really be bothering me that much. Do you have tattoos? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. It's I always good to have a lot of tattoos. Those are my biggest yeah. baby. That's why I asked that for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Um. But you say you have a high pain. It's always my tattoo people. I had a panic attack when I was getting my lips done the other day. Did it hurt? No. Like, were you my face extra? <laughs> <laughs> it's a control thing because I'm used to being the one. Yeah, so I was like, hold up. So as long as I get past that, I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. First, I want you to bite down again. If she feelin' hot, then I'm in the best rose And I get up this time every time that I go Damn, the party not lit, then I'd rather not go If she feelin' hot, then I'm in the best rose And I get up this time every time that I go Damn, look in the mirror, I'm feelin' me Stackin' money with a ceiling Twenty to stand on the couch, went out of town Fuckin' three feelin' He like the way that I dress Throwin' bullets to the flex Like me, me, I got him obsessed Them bitches see me as a threat Got the baddest in the room So tell him to make room Got me to numb you for the cannula just to create this transition to be a little bit smoother between the chin and the arm. But it feels nice if I'm already chosen. Like, if she feeling hot, then I make the best rose and I get up as high every time that I post. Damn, the party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she feeling hot, then I make the best rose and I get up as high every time that I post. And this is the this the chin. Mm -hmm. okay. You already have. I was telling you earlier. You have really nice uh, projection here in length. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is just smoothing the transition between your jawline and your chin, so it makes your jawline looks sharper. Okay. 
Every time I tell people I'm gonna do chin filler, you can do chin filler so many ways. You can inject it here, down here to elongate it, or you can just um, elongate it with the jawline. People freak out because they think of Natalie Nunn. Injection. No, I like I like my chin elongated. Your chin is cute. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Who, um, whoever did it did a really good job. Yeah, she did. I'm gonna show you like how it looked when I initially yeah, I first had got it. It was so like my my chin naturally was just very boxy. For me. Yes, yeah, it's swollen, but you know it'll go down. Yeah. So I was saying when this, so what happens in this masseter here, when it slims down, your cheek isn't gonna look so heavy right here. Okay. So your face will look slimmer, and then it'll just flow seamlessly into your jawline. Okay. Thank you. Did you want a squeezy ball? I know we're halfway through now, but I have it. <laughs> I'm okay. Leo, but I'm ready to fix it if you're ready, baby. So, so. So give me all of you in exchange for me. Just give me all of you in exchange for me. For me. For real, shot. Good thing about your skin quality, you will probably age very well because your skin is <laughs> very tough. Hello, my loves. It is another day, and today. We are on our way to work. It is a constant day. I'm using one of my um, regular clients. It's been a minute since she came to me. But y'all know my Instagram was down for a while, so a lot of my clients couldn't buy me. So, and I had got a new number, so it was just a lot. So I'm using my girl for some content today, and I'm collabing with a MUA. I actually just did her hair the other day. So yeah, I'm, we're doing a big content day. And first, I have to go by the store to grab the things that I need. And y'all coming with me, duh. The fact that I always forget where I park my car, so I'm always like having to go up and down on each level like of the parking garage. It's actually quite sick. So even today, me and Daisha are supposed to be heading. I hope my car is in this level. I don't hear it. Okay. So like I said, me and Daisha both have some content to do for YSL. So I'm shooting mine today. Um, later on tonight, we're going to get back to our little content spot. And that is where we're going to shoot at. So they sent me three items. I think it's two lip glosses and a mascara. I'm really excited about the mascara though because baby, I use my other mascara down to the ground it's dry it's brittle it's broken it's nothing to use so i'm excited to see what this mascara gonna give because i don't get bottom lashes no more so i just be using mascara on my bottom lashes so i'm excited to see what that's gonna give okay. so the first stop before we go to the suite we have to go to the beauty supply store just to rack up on some supplies that we're gonna need for this install i am doing a quick week oh my gosh bouncy aren't we so I'm doing a quick weave on my model today and we are using my hair which of course Rich Girl Extensions and we are having a big Black Friday sale because Black Friday is actually my one year anniversary. Woo! It's my one year anniversary since I even dropped my website. Not of me selling hair. I've only been selling hair since August but it is my one year anniversary of selling my products. So baby we doing a big big sale okay but like I was saying y'all i got exciting news um so we're going on vacation again yeah yeah but baby this time we going exotic we going very much habibi like you know what i mean we're going to dubai and i am so so aesthetic it's my girl Lex's birthday and she wanted me to come out there she just moved out there shout out to her it's nothing like black excellence like to be a black girl that moves to a whole nother state is one thing but for you to say fuck it i'm leaving america baby she like you have to be so strong and brave to do that and like got your eye on the prize so if you see this Lex, congratulations and i'm so here for all your success because that's 
major. But, um, yeah, so we're going to Dubai later on this month, girlies. Okay? Period. But we're going to get more into that in another video. But, speaking of some other exciting news, y'all. Guess who has a manager now? Mm-hmm. That girl, Tay. Yes, she do. I have my very own... Ugh. I have my very own manager, y'all. I'm so excited. The other day we sat down, we had a very fantastic meeting about where I want to go with content creating and where I want to go in general with all my goals. And baby, she is the right person, the right fit. She does all my branding and marketing already. So who's better to already know my brand and know me and that I know and I know their work ethic than my girl? I'm gonna give her a shout out once we get everything rocking and rolling. So yeah, I'm very excited about this new journey that I'm taking baby it's about to be 2024 fourth quarter i don't know about y'all but i'm literally not playing like i'm trying to make sure that these last two months of this year is basically my foundation of what i'm about to this i'm um, basically i'm planting the seed for what's about to blossom for 2024 like i have to get on top of it because if you don't who will at the end of the day it's your life nobody else gonna do it for you so me even taking a step to find me a manager to really showcase that i'm taking my concert creating serious just shows a lot and i'm very proud of myself because baby this year has oh my gosh bro this is giving very much minnesota avenue but anyways i'm very proud of myself because y'all this year was everything but easy this probably has been one of the hardest years of my life like that's just being transparent i went through a lot my Instagram went down to people that are not in the beauty industry world or not content, like, not in the content world. You may not understand. It's like, oh, hold up. That's exactly how this year almost took me out. Okay. What was I saying? My Instagram had got deleted. For those that's not in the industry, you're not going to understand. It's like, it's just the Instagram page start over, baby. That was my main way of income. It was just a lot. My Instagram was down for a month. It was a lot. I went through a lot of you guys know of my um relationship. Like I went through a huge like public heartbreak. Like I put myself out there being vulnerable. Oh. I put myself out there being very vulnerable with you guys. Um I was just your girl was going through some shit this year. Like I was going through some shit. This year has been tough as hell, but you know, God got me through it. He want to put you through nothing that he don't feel like that you can make. And at the end of the day, it builds your character. And it's all character development. And I got through it. And now I'm just in the stage of I'm ready to plant my seed because I'm ready for the harvest. I'm ready for it. But, you know, you got to make room for your blessings. And that is exactly what I'm doing. And you got to do the work. You have to be prepared. You have to be prepared for what God has for you. Because if you don't. He may have X, Y, and Z for you, but if you are not making room for it, how you gonna fit that in? First of all, oh my gosh, I need to get a nose, I mean a tongue piercing, I mean a tongue ring and a new belly ring too. My tongue, my, my smiley piercing just came out. I don't know how that happened. I was in the middle of brushing my teeth and it just fell out. So I'm not sure if that means that's over with or or what that actually mean because why would that happen like why would you do that because it fell out it didn't even it wasn't like it, it fell out so i guess that's over with anyways um y'all i had posted a video basically saying that i was doing 275 dollar quick weaves and the girls was trying to tussle because they said that i charged too much for a quick weave First of all, let's clock it. Um, number one, I want to say it's very unprofessional. Well, I don't even want to say unprofessional because y'all not the prof professionals. But for you to come after somebody who's making a living for themselves every day, making away from themselves, I just, uh, I don't like that. Like, they be saying, like, y'all hate hairstylists so bad. Like, people really hate hairstylists so bad. And it's like, why? What do we do to you? Don't get me wrong. It's some hairstylists that do ruin it for others. But it's like, speaking for myself, I just feel as though, I feel as though the same way they be trying to say, oh, hairstylists just want you to pay for their lifestyle. Don't you go to work so you can pay your rent? 
Don't you go to work so you can feed your kids? Don't you go to work so you can afford your car note? So what's wrong with us having God-given talents? Okay, because let's clock it. What's wrong with us having God-given talents and charging not only for our talent but our time? What's wrong with that? Me personally, in the video, in the video, she got her hair colored jet black. She got a shampoo, which should come with your service. She got a steam treatment and in her installation. Two seventy five. Me personally, I'm 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 one of those hairstylists. I'm for the girls that get it. Anything that got to do with hate, it's for the girls that get it. Cause if you don't get it, I don't even want you in my chair. Honestly, me, I don't care how much I'm paying. I didn't pay a thousand dollars to get my eyebrows microbladed, like. You can't talk to me about money when it comes to beauty maintenance because I'm never going to understand that point of view. Because you could honestly just find somebody that's more affordable instead of trying to attack somebody else because of however, whatever you got going on. Because at the end of the day, I have clients where if they are having like a moment where they want to come to me and they, you know, life be life and life happens for me too. Life be life for me as well. Like I just told y'all. So I be having clients that be like, girl, right now it's a tough time, but I do need my hair. And I do their hair for free. Like, because I'm a genuine stylist. Like, everything's not about money with me. I look out for my people. But at the same time, I just hate when people just be attacking hairstylists for no apparent reason. Like, if you can't afford it, it's okay. That is perfectly fine. Or if you don't agree with their prices, that is perfectly fine. Just find you somebody else that you do. It's just that simple. But to bring somebody down who has to literally wake up and has to figure out how they're going to make money to survive. Because that is what entrepreneurship is. We don't have a set pay every Friday. We don't have a salary. We make new money and different money every day. Some days you're not going to make no money. Some days you are. And it's just like people don't realize and understand how hard in reality, it is to be an entrepreneur. And it's like, you will never understand that because you don't have the mindset of an entrepreneur. And everybody not meant to be entrepreneurs, but it's just like, don't knock it, baby. Don't knock somebody else's business because you feel blah, blah. Like, and it's a whole ass vibe coming to get your hair done with Tay. I'm going to show y'all. But it's a whole ass vibe over here. We vibe out. We vibes the hell out. Like, it's not you just come get your hair done, you get the fuck up on my chair, and that's it. Like, no, we vibe, you know. He said, bet a dollar you can't hit me with a quarter. Okay, so. Like. Oh. On my Zoom. But, yeah, so. Where I had to tell you the spot store? I know that was a long talk while I was in the car. But. While I was in the car, but. I just had to let y'all know because that really irked my, my nerves a little bit because it's just like uh, I just I don't know like I take a lot of things personal and it's like for me to be a content creator you have to you have to have tough skin because baby the girls won't even know what they talking about it'd be a fake page saying this and this and that about your business or about you and this, this and that and you literally have to have thick skin because if you don't baby that shit will eat your ass up alive and luckily I have tough skin okay so, they only have soft black. This is the brand that I like to use for my jack black. But soft black is also black black. So, we're going to get like three of these. Yeah. Three of those. And then I need some um, wig caps. I need a heat resistant brush. I had to get some gloves. And I see this detainment like two I think I'm gonna get this too because my girls be coming to me with their hair looking crazy yeah. right, I'm gonna call you tonight um, <laughs> oh my gosh look somebody's getting married y'all is that a sign for me or what oh there's the ah oh, beautiful I think that's my sign Okay, 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 okay. Jury in the 
safe on arrival. Pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title. A lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night. The waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, babe, I think that was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it. That's life, though. I can show you bigger things than that. It's going to be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. Okay, so I'm coloring. Well, I already colored her bundles. One of my favorite techniques to like get all the hair dye, like excess hair dye, all of the bundles after I've colored them, is to put them in hot boiling water with some shampoo. And I'm about to show y'all why. So these are the bundles. I just washed the wash shampoo them once, so of course they're not going to be all the way rinsed out from the color. And this is why. Look at how much color. It's still on the bundles. So I let this sit for like five minutes and then I shampoo it like normal. And it's like a sweet, okay, cool. But it's like at house, it's like, all right. Yeah. How long you been on this? Um, I've been doing lashes for two years now. Okay. But I don't know, like, it's just hard for me to commit to like getting clients out here. I have clients in California, but How long you been here? Um, I moved out here in 2021. Oh, okay. You be going back and forth? Mhm. Mm I go back a lot, so that's in California. That's where I make my money at right now. Oh, okay. But out here, no, not much. I have a few clients. What you think? Here. Like in a way of you um, building your clientele here? Me, like mm -hmm. I don't put myself out there enough to like connect to other people. To. Yeah. Because when I first got out here, I was going back home so much because mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. That's why I know I can make some money at, but it's like you do be having to be here so you could build mm -hmm. that stability. Who don't be looking at investing into no more, especially with so much social media, everybody just think, okay, I could do my own lashes, mm -hmm. I could do my own hair. Yeah, that's one thing too. A social media started to make a lot of people feel like they could do whatever. Yeah, and it's like, like that's what y'all have us for. Like, mm -hmm. I will put my out their job. <laughs> trying to do everything. But I have seen you been doing a lot of content. Yeah. I've been trying to. But I'm trying to get back into taking my clients too. Because when my Instagram was down, a lot of people was trying to find my stuff. And, mm -hmm. and then I had changed my name too. Because I don't want to just see everything. And why not? Because I don't want to get into other things. And be able to brand myself. Especially with like. This generation, it's really about that being able to brand yourself as well. Like mm -hmm. you can have a business, but it's like if you brand yourself, everything else falls in line too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know you though out here. Really? Like when people ask me like who to go to and stuff, like I said I'm taping to you, um, <laughs> like stuff like that. But they be like, yeah, they oh I've heard of her, or, I've seen her page. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into it because I had kind of lost my way or like lost my passion when my Instagram had got me down because it was just a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, How'd you lose it? Like Instagram, like content lawyer? Somebody paid to get my page deleted. Wow.
y'all. So it is Sunday and I just left the grocery store. We went to church today, of course, to praise the Lord. Get into this very much no makeup, makeup little look. And I'm about to show y'all how I got this later on today because I got some content that I got to do. But anyways, I just went to Whole Foods. I shop at Whole Foods for my groceries and Publix because I just feel like Whole Foods has better produce versus um, public so that's what I like to do I got my little wagon back here y'all this is from Amazon if you live in an apartment building maybe this is going to be your holy grail because all that going back and forth up and down the other things it don't work for say it do not work for say okay so, I literally use this for everything and Y'all know your girl have been on a kind of like sort of a diet, but whenever I have to keep going and getting food, fast food, I slip up. So I just went grocery shopping. Y'all broke the bank on groceries. I need food stamps. Any of y'all send the food stamps? I won't tell nobody. I won't tell nobody, okay? Because I just spent almost four hundred dollars. That's how much I normally spend on my groceries. About roughly almost four hundred dollars because y'all know Whole Foods is expensive, but it's worth it. I'm going to show y'all what I got. But yeah, that's how much I spend on my groceries. And we got to put them up and clean out my refrigerator. This is probably one of my favorite days of the week. Because I get to be home and just chill and just do like a reset. So I already cleaned my house um, the other day. But I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. I got a couple little dishes in here. And then we are going to cook dinner later. I'm trying to figure out what I want to cook. But yeah. I'm going to show y'all what I got from Publix. I got me... I began like all my little, I don't know what that word is, the N word, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, whatever that word is. I began all my little stuff that like don't really matter from Publix and then I get my, you know, my stuff that matter from um, Whole Foods. So I am about to make me an acai bowl. I'm so excited. I got my little pack out. So from Publix, this is where I don't snack. I don't like snacks. I don't eat like chips and stuff. I eat like um corn like corn tortilla chips and I might eat some hot cheetos. That's about it. But I don't eat like chip chips. But um yeah, so I'm not a snack person. I eat fruit for snacks. So yeah. This is my version of snacks. I'm about to show y'all. Hey. Okay, so I got some pure cranberry juice. This is a good natural probiotic for the real. Got that. We got us some Blanco queso. Because I told y'all I eat like this for corn pieces. I got some M&M cookies. I got some M&M cookies. And cause I'm back in my home body bag y'all. I'm back in my home body bag. I'm about to be home. I'm about to be running out of some money from home. About to be in a house. I don't really care for the clubs right now. It's getting cold outside. I'm just not really into all that at the moment. So, what's the best way to make yourself stay in the house? Groceries. Because you're going to sit your ass in that house. And I cook. So, that's why I like my groceries be a lot. I be paying almost $400 for groceries. Like, and I live alone. But anyways. I got some egg roll wraps. So, I can make me some seafood egg rolls. And then I got me some feta crumble cheese to put in my salad because I like the feta cheese from Kava. Some sour cream in case I make some tacos. Hey, church was phenomenal. Um, I didn't even realize that it was first Sunday. Anyway, some collard greens, pull some sides. I want to perfect making grits, so I got me some grits because I need to start eating breakfast more often. I got me some immune vitamins. Take your vitamins, ladies. Like, it's about to be a new year. I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I'm my biggest critic. I'm my biggest fan. I'm all of that. So, I've been really trying to think, okay, say, these last two months, what are you about to do to make this year way better than this year? Because I'm not going to lie, 2023 was rough as hell for me. Like, it was a really bad year. I'm not even going to lie. God got me through it, but baby, it was a it was a terrible year. Like, it was crazy. Cranberry juice.
Oh no, I'm not over exaggerating. I'm really not over exaggerating this time. My girls was like, get it for your meal. Like I take cranberry vitamins, but I never just shoved the took. Uh, it ain't no juice cocktail, girl. You love this kind, girl. It just caught me off guard. I thought it was gonna take some regular cranberry juice. This is so good. If anybody put you on, baby, the Stella Rose Tropical Mango. It's so good. I should put it in this cranberry juice. I have one of these lemon bars just because I'm not throwing them in the trash. They've been in there too long. 12 classic lemon bars. I don't even like stuff like this. And I got some other stuff. I got some little Alfredo I got from there. I ain't never use it because I don't like pre-made stuff. Like I like to cook my shit. Okay. So I'm going to try this. I just be trying stuff. I don't know what I want to make for dinner, y'all. I'm about to show y'all what I got and then I'm going to let y'all figure out, like, help me. So, bon appetit. Mm. Burke inspired snapper. Not fried, though. We're going to bake it. A jerk inspired snapper. With some yellow rice with like some broccoli or asparagus. How'd that sound? Or maybe cabbage. We got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. I love fruit so much. Let me dive in right now. with love which is not well he said this girl this is so good though like it's so but I told y'all I don't snack so if this is like a snack to me acai bowl is a snack to me I eat this for breakfast and then they really gave me these big jumbo ass blueberries I don't know what's that about that looks so freaking good look at that that like chef's kiss welcome to tay's cooking channel we're live <laughs> okay so tonight i'm gonna be making red snapper a whole red snapper just for myself red snapper yellow rice with cabbage chef's kiss let's get into this Right. But like yellow rice goes with it. It's giving chef. Oh baby, if y'all ain't know, I throw down. Take those down. Take throw down. Baby, I don't even play. Alright, so and Big ass fish. How much was this? <gasps> what? That's why my grocery, y'all. I paid two seventy five. Oh hell no! I paid. I didn't pay attention to the last the last time either. I paid two seventy five for my groceries today at Whole Foods. This fish is forty five dollars. I did not know. I don't pay attention to prices. I really don't. I ain't gonna hold you. Last time I took the eyeballs out, I think I'm gonna keep his eyeballs this time because that was a traumatic experience doing that. I knew you, baby. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse him off. I've been marinated it. I said I was gonna do that, but. I honestly was in the bed watching. I put my hair in a ponytail. So I'm just gonna put all my stuff like in here. 
because this is going to be oh why would that happen i'm going to cut my peppers Black girl, if you 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 black girl, It's a snapper, hold on. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but I don't want it to fall over. Hold on, let me show. The people, like, look how golden it is. Like, don't play with that girl. I it at first and then I broiled it. So, it could have more of like a crisp outer layer. And I taste like the inside of the meat and it was really good. Immaculate. Look at that meat. Like, it's just perfect. How the meal turned out. Super, super good. Okay, y'all. It's the last day of our weekly vlog. And we are ending it with some business. My girl Queen is downstairs waiting on me. We're about to have a business meeting about this upcoming girls, girls trip that we are planning to Aspen. So, if by the time y'all see this, We'll already have the dates figured out and everything like that. And you will be able to put down a deposit when we'll come into our girls networking trip. And I'm going to give you guys all the details in a little bit. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, we are making a stop and getting some pizza first. From, what's this place called? Pilots. Oh. Pi oh, Pilots. <laughs> I was like, which one? Oh, okay. Pilots. Apparently they got really really good pizza, so we are about to try it. I'm not even paying attention and figure out the details to this. We said twelve girls and two of us. Are you bringing anybody? We got each other. Right. Okay. So I would say like maybe more Valentine's Day. Yeah, 
Okay, so we figured out everything that we needed to figure out for the most part. Now we are headed to Sephora. And I want to get some um, candles from Bath & Body Works. Because it's been a minute since I had, like, since I went, honestly. Because I've been all over the place. So my last worry about has been damn candles. But honestly, I don't even know if, if they're going to have any damn thing left in Sephora. Because I decided to go on the last day of the sale. But hopefully they do. But well, we're gonna see. Cause I'm not buying no unnecessary shit. If they don't have, if they got damn, I don't know, something that I know I'm not gonna use, I'm not getting it just to say I got something from the Sephora sale. So hopefully they still got some little stuff. We about to see and check it. So I'm starting with probably getting the mattifying waterproof setting spray from one size. They say that this is really good, so I think I'm gonna try this. I put her in the bag. What you got? Oh, that's like a shimmer. That's not, is this, is Illuminate like shimmer? Yeah, so like you can add it into anything. Like add to your foundation, add to your body lotion. Oh, okay, I'll probably use Illuminate and whatever you want to do. Um, okay, okay. Is this, 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 I just seen like this girl video on TikTok. She was like makeup that she feel like it's worth getting during the sale. That would be so hot. She child. That's cute. Provoke. What y'all think about this as well? I guess I'm gonna get her the ultra pink. If y'all did not know, I have stopped wearing highlighter like a little minute ago. So I seen that Rare Beauty has a really good highlighter. So I'm gonna see. I don't know why I just haven't been doing highlighter. Like it disappeared. You can see a little bit of it, but. That's because I got makeup all up here. Okay. I wonder if that's all I'm gonna get. But I don't really feel like matching myself on all of that stuff right now. Get me an hourglass concealer. I'm excited to see what that's about. Thank you. Um, um I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm just looking. That smells good. So we're gonna get that. It's a shimmer and whip oil body cream. Back. And now we are going to bath and body break. I just want a couple puzzles for my house because your girl haven't really been keeping up with her candles. We're on a budget in Bath and Body Works. We're not doing more than a hundred dollars. Really, I'm probably just gonna get some mini candles. I might not even get like the big, big ones because I didn't expect to spend that much in Sephora. I only got well everything that I, for one, the discount was only twenty-seven dollars. What sale is that, Sephora? That's all I got off. Maybe I was thinking I was gonna spend a hundred dollars. No, but everything that I did pick out was very pricey. I cannot wait to, I wanna do this. I never did like the ice skating rink in Atlanta. Like I never did it and I need to because like, why well, have not done it? But now we are headed to Bath and Body Works. And then I'm headed home after this to figure out some more stuff. Cause I got a lot of work to do. And yeah, so. Okay, so this fragrance has been like my favorite, the Sun Drenched Linen, just because of the simple back. It's kind of neutral, it's not too powerful, and it's not too like fruity. It smells like clean laundry, and I like that smell. So I'm gonna get two of these. Yeah. Maybe three. I'm gonna get three of those, because I really like how it smells. And then one peach zellini. 
and I think I'm good on that. And then I'm gonna get um some plugins. Okay, y'all, your girl is back home, and that is the end of our vlog for this week. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stop and subscribe right now to keep up with any new videos that I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna try to be more consistent where I drop at least every Sunday and have different ideas to come up with to show y'all more of my personality other than vlogs. So if you guys have anything that you want to see me do, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. And also, all of my digital products are on sale tonight. So make sure you go cop one of my ebooks, my webinars, and also shop Rich Girl Extensions. Love you guys.